We've managed to escape winter these past three and a half years, but in truth, we've missed it. Montreal isn't known for its mild winters. This month, the snow fell heavy and often. We were staying with my parents at the time. We enjoyed being with family. A lot. We're used to being alone together, but now we had a support system. We missed having this too. Even with the thick snow on the ground, we'd go and take long walks to a forested park, hoping to catch a glimpse of some Virginia deer or gray squirrels plump with winter reserves. While in Canada, we worked on projects. We had a lot of time to think about what we wanted to do with hunted rabbits. We wanted to continue to make games, to find a way to build them in a sustainable way. We settled on learning assembly to port our games to the Famicom. In this same line of thinking, we rebuilt all our websites in pure C. We removed all traces of JavaScript and optimized them for screen readers. Come mid-February, we returned to Japan. We landed in Osaka, late at night. The next morning, both of us were awake at 3 a.m. and went to pick up some soba from a convenience store. Full of noodles, we boarded the first of many trains, three in all. Our minds were racing, wondering what we'd find when returning to Pino. Maybe there would be water damage or mold. After getting off the last stop of the last train, we got on a bus, taking us to Gokasho, a town we've come to know very well. We walked the rest of the way to the marina, getting reacquainted with the trees and birds of the area. Not much had changed in our absence. Six months isn't long enough for things to become unrecognizable, but it is a long time to be away from your home. We missed living on Pino. A lot. It was a relief to see our boat there, tethered to the dock, looking as good as when we'd left it in August. There was no visible damage, inside or out. We were wondering if our preparations were enough. Now we can say with confidence that they were indeed enough. I wrote a post about what we did to prepare Pino for long-term storage. You can find it in the description below. As soon as we arrived, we went to work, making Pino habitable again. We began stocking large quantities of food. That's a rule on a boat. If you find something you like, you get a lot of it. Provisioning in Japan is easy. I wrote a guide about it for those interested. We started on some maintenance work aboard the boat, like fixing our manual bilge pump. We had to replace various parts, like the diaphragm. <laughs> I folded my nail backward. <laughs> we cleaned up the woodwork outside too, giving the wood a fresh coat of varnish, and did the same for our trusty tiller. It spent the winter inside, but it had cracked open during the rainy season last summer. We scrubbed every item left outside, like our fenders and whisker pull. It wasn't all work and no play this month. We went to visit our favorite places, like the abandoned tennis court. Yeah. <laughs> all in all, it's great to be back here. Japan is an amazing place to return to. When we left six months ago, we made some umeshu and left it to ferment, knowing it would be ready on our return. We're happy to say that this too was a success. Cheers. And as always, thank you for keeping us afloat. Literally. It's like candy apple, but potato version. It's hard on the, a bit. <laughs>